Hello friends, today I am going to review some true facts of Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Complete life cycle of Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa. But first of all I request you to please share and subscribe my channel for getting my informative true facts videos uninterrupted. Now Ramakrishna Paramahansa. Ramakrishna Paramahansa born Gadadhar Chatterjee and Gadadhar Chattopadhyay. No, by an Indian Hindu mystic and saint during the 19th century Bengali, Bengal, Ramakrishna experienced a spiritual ecstasy from a young age and was influenced by several religious traditions, including devotion towards the goddess Kali, Tantra, Shakti, Vaishnava, Bhakti, and Advaita Vedanta. Reverence and admiration of him among uh, Bengali elites and to formation of the Ramakrishna mission by his chief disciple Swami Vivekananda. Birth and Childhood Ramakrishna was born on 18th February 1836 in the village of Kamar Pukur in the Hooghly district of West Bengal into a very poor, pious and orthodox Brahmin family. Kamar Pukur was untouched by the glamour of the city and contained uh, rice fields, uh, tall palms, uh, royal banyans, a few uh, lakes, uh, and two uh, remission grounds. Uh, his uh, parents uh, were Khudiram Chattopadhyay and uh, Chandramani Devi. Chandramani Devi. According to his uh, followers, uh, Ramakrishna parents experienced the supernatural incidents and visions before his birth. In Gaya, his father Khudiram had a dream in which Lord Gadadhar, a form of Vishnu, said that he would be born as his son. Chandramani Devi is said to have had a vision of light entering her womb from Shiva's temple. Although Ramakrishna attended a village school with some regularity for 12 years. He later rejected the traditional schooling, saying that he was not interested in a breadwinning education. Kamar Pukur, being a transit point in well established pilgrimage route to Puri, uh, brought him into contact with the renunciate and holy men. He has become well versed in the Puranas, the Ramayana, and the Mahabharata, and the Bhagavata Puran, hearing them from wandering monks and the Kathaks, a class of men in ancient India who preached it and sang the Puranas. Puranas. He could read it with and write in Bengali. While the official biographies write that the name Ramakrishna was given by Mathura Vishwas, chief patron of the Kineshwar Gali temple. It has also been suggested that this, uh, that this name was given by his uh, own parents. Ramakrishna describes uh, his first spiritual ecstasy at the age of six uh, while walking along the paddy fields. Uh, a flock of white cranes uh, flying against a backdrop of dark thunder cloud caught his vision. He reportedly became um, so absorbed by, by the scene that he lost outward consciousness and experienced uh, indescri indescribable joy in that state. Ramakrishna reportedly had experience of similar nature a few other times in his childhood. While worshipping the goddess, uh, goddess and portraying God Shiva in a drama during uh, Sivratri festival, from the 10th to or the 11th year of his school, all the, the trances become common, and by the final years of his life, Ramakrishna Samadhi periods occurred almost daily. Early on these experiences have been interested as a, a political seizure and interpretation which was rejected by Ramakrishna himself. Ramakrishna's father died in 1843, after which family responsibility fell on his elder brother Ram Kumar. This loss drew him closer to his mother and he spent his time in household activities and daily worship of the household deities and became more involved in contemplative activities such as reading the sacred epics. When Ramakrishna was in his teen, the family's financial position worsened. Ramakrishna started a Sanskrit school in Kolkata and also served as a priest. Ramakrishna moved to Kolkata in 1852 with Ram Kumar to assist in the priestly work. Priest at the Khineshwar Kali Temple. In 1855, Ram Kumar was appointed as the priest of the Khineshwar Kali Temple, built by Rani, Rani Rasmani, a rich woman of Kolkata who belonged to the Kavartha community. 
Kayavarta community. Ramakrishna, along with his nephew Hridaya, becomes the assistant, assistant to Ram Kumar, which Ram Krishna gives the task of decorating the deity. With Ram, uh, Ram Kumar died in 1856, uh, Ram Krishna took his place at the priest of the Kali temple. After Ram uh, Kumar's death, uh, Ram Krishna became more contemplative. Uh, he began to look upon the image of Goddess Kali as his mother and the mother of the universe. Uh, Ram Krishna reportedly had a vision of the Goddess Kali as, a, as the universal mother, which he described as uh, houses, doors, temples, and everything else uh, vanished altogether as if there was nothing anywhere. And what I saw was an infinite, soulless sea of light, a sea that was consciousness. However, far in whatever direction I looked, I saw shining waves, one after another, coming towards me. Marriage. Rumors have spread to Kamar Kukur that Ram Krishna had become unstable as a result of his spiritual practices in Dakineshwar. Ram Krishna mothers and his elder brother Rameshwar decided to get Ram Krishna married, thinking that that marriage would be a good, good steadying influence upon him. By forcing him to uh, accept responsibility and to keep his attention on normal affairs rather than his spiritual practices and vision, Ram Krishna himself mentioned that they could not find the bride at the house of Ramchandra Mukherjee in in Jarambati, Jarambati, three miles to the north west of Kamarpukur. The five-year-old bride, Sarada Mani, the Mukhapadhyaya, later known as Sarada Devi, was found at the marriage was uh, duly summarized in 1859. Ram was 23 at, the, at this point. But the age difference was typical for 19th century rural Bengal. The latter spent three months together in Ramarpukur. Sarada Devi was 14, while Ram Krishna was 32. Ram Krishna became a very influential figure in Sarada's life and she becomes a strong follower of his teachings. After the marriage, Sarada Devi, Sarada stayed at Jarambati, Jarambati and joined Ram Krishna in Dakineshwar at the age of 18. By the time his bride joined him, Ramkrishna had already embraced the monastic life of sannyasi. As a result, the marriage was never consummated. As a priest, Ramkrishna performed the ritual ceremony, the, the, so the, so the si puja, the Sodasi Puja, where Sharda Devi was made to sit in the seat of Goddess Kali and worshipped as the Divine Mother. Ramkrishna regarded Sarada as the Divine Mother in person, addressing her as the Holy Mother, and it was written by his name that she was known to Ramkrishna's disciples. Sarada Devi outlived Ramkrishna by 34 years and played an important role in nascent religious movement, religious practices and teachers. After his marriage, Ramkrishna returned to Kolkata and resumed the charge of the, of the temple again and he continued his sadhana. According to the official biographer, he continued his sadhana under the teachers of Tantra, Vedanta and Vaishnava, Ram Bhakti. Uh, at some point, uh, point of the period between the vision of Kali and his marriage, Rakesh practiced the Dashyabhav, Dashyabhav among which he worshipped Ram, with the attitude of Hanuman, which is considered to be the ideal devotee and servant of Ram. According to Ram Krishna, Towards the end of his sadhana, he and a vision of Sita, the consort of Ram, merging into his body. Bhairavi Brahm, Bhairavi Brahmani and Tantra. In 1861, Ram Krishna accepted Bhairavi Brahmani, an orange robbed middle-aged female ascetic as a teacher. She carried with her Raghuvir Sila, a stone icon representing Ram and all Vaishnava deities. She was thoroughly convergent with the text of Guriya Vaishnavism and the practice of the Tantra. According to Bhairavi, Ramakrishna was experiencing phenomena that accompany Mahabhav, the supreme attitude of loving devotion towards the divine. And, and uh, quoting from the Bhakti Shastra, she said that other uh, religious figures like Radha and Chaitanya had similar experience. The Bhairavi initiated Ramakrishna into Tantra. Tantrism focuses focus on the worship of Shakti and the object of Tantric tending to transcend the barriers between the holy and unholy as a means of achieving liberation and see all aspects of the natural world a manifestation of the divine Shakti. Under her guidance, Ramakrishna went through six, 64 major Tantric sadhanas which were completed in 1863. He began, his, he began with mantra rituals such as Jap and, 
and the Pura Shikara Naya Nimiya Dharadna rituals are designed to purify the mind and establish self-control. He later proceeds towards the Tantric Sadhana, which generally include a set of orthodox, heterodox practices called, called Vamachar, left hand, left hand path, which utilizes the means of liberation. Activities like eating of parched grain, fish and meat along with the drinking of wine and sexual intercourse. According to Ramakrishna and his biography, Ramakrishna did not take directly practice the last two those activities, some events, he did not indulge in meat eating. All that he needed as a suggestion of them to produce the desired result. Ramakrishna acknowledged the left hand of the Tantric path, it had undesirable features as one of the valid roads to the God relation. He consistently cautioned his devotees and disciples against associating with it. The Bhairavi also taught Ramakrishna the Kumari Puja, a form of ritual in which the business God is worshipped symbolically in the form of young God. Under the tutelage of the Bhairavi, Ramakrishna also learned Kundali, Kundalini Yoga. The Bhairavi with the yogic technique and the Tantra played an important part in the ritual, a spiritual development of Ramakrishna. Vaishnava Vaishnav Bhakti. In 1864, Ramakrishna practiced Vaishnava Bhakti and Vasalya Bhav under Vaishnava Guru Jatadhari. During the period, he worshipped a mental image of Ramlala, Ramlala, Ram as a child, in the attitude of a mother. According to Ram Krishna, he could feel the presence of child Ram as a living God in the material image. Ram Krishna later engaged in the practice of Madhur Bhav, the attitude of the gopis and Radha towards Krishna. During the practice of this Bhav, Ram Krishna dressed himself in almost attire for several days and regarded himself as one of the gopis of Vrindavan. According to Sri Ram Krishna, the Madhur Bhav is practiced to root out the idea of sex which is seen to impediment in his spiritual life. According to Ramakrishna, towards the end of the sadhana, he attained the uh, Sevakalpa Samadhi, vision and union uh, with Krishna. Ramakrishna visited uh, Nadia, the, form, uh, the home of Lord Chaitanya uh, Mahaprabhu and Sri, Sri Dhyananda Prabhu. The 15th century founder of Bengal, uh, Gaudiya Vaishnava Bhakti, according to Ramakrishna, he had an intense vision of two young boys merging into his body. And his vision of Kali he is said to have cultivated the Sant Bhav, the child attitudes towards Kali. Tota Puri and Vedanta. In 1865, Ramakrishna was initiated into Sanyas by Tota Puri, an itinerant monk who trained Ramakrishna in Advaita Vedanta, the Hindu philosophy with the emphasis on non dualism. Tutapuri had guided Ramakrishna to the roots of uh, rites of sannyas, renunciation of all ties the ties in the world. Then he instructed him in the teaching of Advaita, the Brahman alone is real and the world illusory. I have no separate existence, I am the Brahman alone. Under the, the, the guidance of Tutapuri, Ramakrishna reportedly experienced the Nivikalpa Samadhi, which is considered to be the highest state in a spiritual realization. Tutapuri stayed with Ramakrishna for nearly 11 months and instructed him further in the teaching of Advaita. Ramakrishna said that uh, this is the period of, of, of Nivikalpa Samadhi came to the end and received a command from the Mother Kali to remain in the Bhavamukh for the entertainment of the people. Bhavamukh being a state of education intermediate between Samadhi and normal consciousness. Bhavamukh it is important. Bhavamukh being a state of ages immediately between Samadhi and consciousness. Islam and Christianity. According to Swami Sudananda Bhagavad in 1866, Govind Rai, Hindu guru who practiced the Sufism, initiated Ramakrishna into Islam. And the practices Islam for three days. During this practice, Ramakrishna had a vision of a luminous figure and Swami Nikhilanan's biography ejaculated that the figure was the perfect Muhammad. According to the, of these accounts, Ramakrishna devoutly repeated the name of Allah, where a cloth of, like the Arab Muslims said, their prayers five times a daily and felt disciplined even to see images of the Hindu gods and goddesses. Much less worship them for the Hindu way of thinking and disappeared uh, altogether from his mind. From mind. 
After three days of practice, he had a vision of a radiant personage with a grave countenance of white beard resembling the prophet and merging with the body. Kripal writes that he would have been a heretical experience through the, and through the, for most Muslims. At the end of 1873, he started the practice of Christianity when he devoted Shambhu Charanamalik read the Bible to him. According to Swami Sadhananda's uh, uh, biography, Ramakrishna was filled with the Christian thoughts for three days and no longer thought of going to Kali temple. Ramakrishna described a vision in which a picture of the, uh, of the Madonna and child become alive and a vision in which Jesus merged with his body. In his own you know, room among, among other divine pictures, the of the Christ, and uh, he burned in incense before it in morning and evening. Uh, there was uh, as a picture showing Jesus Christ saving, saving Mr. St. Peter from drowning in the water. Kesab Chandra Sain and New Dispensation. In 1875, Ram Krishna met the influential Brahmi Samaj leader Kesab Chandra Sain. He had accepted Christianity and had separated from his Adi Brahm Samaj. Formerly, Kesav rejects idolatry, but rather the influence of Ram Krishna, he accepted Hindu polytheism and established the new dispenser, no Vidhan, religious movement based on Ram Krishna principles, worship of God as mother. All religions through the assimilation of Hindu polytheism to, to, to Brahmanism. Kesav also publicized, publicized Ram Krishna three things in the journal of new dispenser over a period of several years which was instrumental in bringing Ram Krishna to the attention of wider audience, especially the Bhadra Loka, English educated class of Bengal and the European residing in India. <coughs> Following Keshav, other Brahm, uh, Brahmos such as Vijay Krishna Goswami started to admire Ram Krishna, propagate to ideas and uh, reorient their socio-religious outlook. Many prominent people of Kolkata, Pratap Chandra Majumdar, Shivanath Shastri and Tiloknath Sanyal began visiting him during the time 1871 to 1885. Majumdar wrote the first English biography of Ram Krishna entitled The Hindu Saint in the, in the, in the Theistic Quarterly Review 1879, which played a vital role in, in, in introducing Ram Krishna to Westerners like to Germans, Indologist Max Muller. Newspapers reported that Ram Krishna was spreading love and devotion among the educated class of Kolkata and that he had succeeded in forming the character of some youth whose morals had been corrupt. Ram Krishna also had interaction with Devendranath Tagore, the father of Ravindra Tagore, and Ishwar Chandra Vidya Shagar, a renowned social worker, had also met Swami Dayananda. Ram Krishna is considered one of the main contributors to the Bengali Renaissance. Vivekananda, among the Europeans who were influenced by Ram Krishna, was the principal Dr. William Herschel of the Scottish Church College, Calcutta, in the course of explaining the word trends, word trends in the poem. <coughs> His cousin by William Wordsworth has told the student that if they wanted to know its real meaning, they should go to Ram Krishna of the Kineshwar. This prompted some of his students, including Narendra Sadatta, later Swami Vivekananda, to visit Ram Krishna. Despite initial reservations, Vivekananda became Ram Krishna's most influential followers, popularizing a modern interpretation of Indian tradition with the harmonized tantra, yoga, and Advaita Vedanta. Vivekananda establishes the Ram Krishna order, which eventually spread, in, spread its mission pushed throughout the world, monastic disciples who renounced the, their family and become the earliest monk of the Ram Krishna order included Rakhal Chandra Ghosh, Swami Brahmananda, Kali Prasad Chandra, Swami Avedananda, Talakhanath Swami Ghosal, Swami Sivananda, Sashi Bhushan Chakravarti, Swami Ram Krishnananda, Sarat Chandra Chakravarti, Swami Shardananda, Tulsi Charan Datta, Swami Nirmalananda, Gangadhar Ghatak, Swami Akhandananda, and Hari Prasanna, Swami Vijayanandan, and others. Others devotees and disciples. 
मेन डिसिप्लिन आई द नेम स्प्रेड एट एन एवर सब सिटिंग क्राउड ऑफ ऑल क्लासेस एंड कास बीच रामकृष्ण मोस्ट ऑफ रामकृष्ण प्रोमिनेंट डिसिप्लिन से कैम इन एटीन सेवेंटी नाइन टू एटीन एट्टी फाइव ए पार्ट फ्रॉम द अर्ली मेम्बर्स हु ज्वाइन द रामकृष्ण अंडर द चीफ डिसिप्लिन से कंसिस्टेड ऑफ गृहस्थ और हाउस होल्डर्स महेंद्र नाथ गुप्ता गिरीश चंद्र घोष महेंद्र नाथ सरकार अक्षय कुमार सिंह एंड अदर्स A small group of women disciples, including Gauri Ma and Yogi Ma, a few of them were initiated into sannyas through mantra diksha. Among them, Ramkrishna emphasized service to other women rather than tapasya practice of austerities. Gauri Ma founded the Shardeshwari Ashram at Bharatpur, which was dedicated to the education and uplift of women. In preparation for the monastic uh, monastic life, Ramkrishna ordered the monastic disciples to beg their food from from door to door without distinction of caste. He gave them the saffron robe, the signs of the sannyasi, and initiated them with mantra diksha. Last days. In the beginning of 1895, Ramkrishna suffered from Clergyman's throat, Clergyman's throat, which gradually developed into throat cancer. He was moved to uh, Siampukur near Kolkata, where some of the best physicians of the time, including Dr. Mahendra, Dr. Mahendra Lal Sarkar, were engaged when he was condition aggravated. When his condition aggravated, he was relocated to a large garden house of Kasipur on 11 December 1895. During the last days, he was looked after by the monastic disciples and Sarada Devi. Ram Krishna was advised by the doctor to keep the strictest silence, but ignoring their advice, he but but ignoring their advices, he in in century converted with converted with visitors. According to traditional accounts, before his death. Ramkrishna transferred his spiritual powers to Vivekananda and reassured Vivekananda of his authoritarian authoritarian status. Ramkrishna asked Ramkrishna asked Vivekananda to look after the welfare of the disciple, saying, "Keep my body together," and asked him to teach him teach them. Ramkrishna also asked their monastic disciples to look after Vivekananda as their leader. Ram Krishna's condition gradually worsened, and he died in the early morning hours of 15th, 16th August, 1886. The Kasi, the Kasipur Garden House, according to his disciple, this was the Mahasamadhi. After the death of our masters, the monastic disciples led by Vivekananda found a fellowship at the half-ruined house at Baranagar, near the river Ganges, with the financial assistance of the household household disciples. This became the first uh, mart or monastery of the disciples who constituted the first Ram Krishna order. The Gospel of Sri Ram Krishna. The article, uh, the principal source of the Ram Krishna teaching is Mahendra Nath Gupta, um, Sri Sri Ram Krishna Kathamarita, um, which is regarded as the Bengali classic. Kripal Kripal calls uh, as the central text of the tradition. The text was published in the volumes from 1902 to 1932, based on Gupta's diary notes. Each of the five volumes uh, purports uh, documents the life of lives from 1882 to 1886. The most popular English translation of the uh, Kathamarita is the Gospel of the Sri Ram Krishna by Swami Nikhilananda. Nikhilananda's uh, translations arrange to scene of the five volumes of the uh, Kathamarita into a linear uh, sequence. Philosophers Lake Hickson's right to the gospel is a spiritual, authentic, and a powerful uh, ingredient of the uh, Kathamarita. Malcolm uh, Maclean and Jeffrey Kripal argue that the tra translation is unreliable, though Kripal's uh, interpretation is criticized by Hugh Arvin. The style of teaching. Ram Krishna teaching swabham we are imparted a rustic Bengali using stories and param and parables. These teachings made a powerful impact on Kolkata intellectuals, despite the fact that the teaching we are far removed from from issues of of modernism and national independence. Ram Krishna primary biography is described him as a talkative. According to the biographers, Ram Krishna would reminisce for hours and about his own eventful spiritual life, 
tell, tells explain Vedantic doctrines with extreme modern illustration, raise questions and answers them uh, himself, crack jokes, sing songs and uh, mimic the ways of all types of worldly people keeping the visitors uh, in thought. Lampis is a rustic colloquial Bengali in his conversations. According to contemporary reports, Lampis's linguistic style was unique. Even to those who spoke Bengali, it contained obscure uh, local words and idioms from village Bengali, uh, interspread with philosophical Sanskrit terms and reference to the Vedas, Puranas, and Tantras. For, for that reason, according to philosophers Lex Hickson, his speeches cannot be literally translated into English or any other language. Scholars uh, Ami Pishen argued argue that the certain items that uh, Ramakrishna may have been used uh, in a metaphysical sense uh, are being importantly uh, invested uh, with new contemporary contempor meaning. Ramakrishna was uh, skilled with words and an extraordinary style of preaching and instruction, instructing, which may have helped uh, the convey his idea or even the most uh, skeptical uh, temple visitors. His speeches reportedly revealed a sense of joy and fun, but he was not at loss when debating with intellectual philosophers. Philosophers Arindam Chakravarti contrasted Ramakrishna talkative with the Buddha reentry of Retians and compared the teachings style by that of the Sukras. Goal realization Ramakrishna emphasized the God. Um, God relations and God relations the same thing. Ramakrishna emphasized the God relation, the supreme goal of all living beings. This is the main goal of the, our life. Ramakrishna taught that uh, Kamani Kanchan is an obstacle to God relation. Kamani Kanchan literally translated uh, Women and God, uh, Partha Chatterjee wrote that the figure of a woman, the ten for concepts or titles that have little to do with women to actuality. actuality. And the figure of woman and God uh, signified the enemy within. That part of one's own self which was susceptible to the temptation of ever unrealizable worldly success. Carl T. Jackson's uh, interprets a common concern refer to the idea of sex and the idea of money and delusions which prevents people from realizing God. Jeffrey Kripal translates this phrase as a lover and uh, God and associates. It was Rafi's alleged disgust for women as lovers. So, I mean, Tyagananda considered that with the inelistic misconductions, uh, misconstructions, Ramakrishna and cautioned his woman disciples against uh, Purush kan, uh, Kanchan, man and God, and Tyagananda writes that Ramakrishna used the Kamani Kanchan as a cautionary words in instructing the disciples to conquer the lust inside the mind. Ramakrishna preferred the daily, the, the duty of the during the divinity beyond himself, the self annihilating immersion of new Kalpa Samadhi, and he helped to bring the realm of Eastern energetics and relations and the demonic celebration that the human is always between a reality it has not yet attained, and the reality to which it has no longer limited. Now in my next video, I will reveal some two facts of uh, uh, some other more interesting topics. Thanks.